Hello. I just wanted a little bit of your time to tell you about a brilliant idea from idyllic hotels and resorts. It's already earned some pretty high profile support, including from HRH, the Princess Royal. It's a charity initiative based on using empty hotel rooms for the benefit of some very special families to give them a little bit of respite. We're hoping that other hotels might join in and open their doors and offer a bit of free accommodation. I can tell you that uh, it's meant a huge amount to the idyllic team already. The, the project has brought them a, a sense of pride, a sense of purpose that uh, has gone right through the hotel receptionist up to its founder. So, holidaymakers, what I'm asking you to do is please, would you forward this video to your favourite hotels? And it kicks off with what the Princess Royal wrote in support. As president of Carers Trust, I've seen the significant improvement to both the physical and psychological well-being of carers after a respite break. I hope that hoteliers could donate space to allow a respite break for families with children with terminal illnesses and severe disabilities, bereaved families where a young parent, child or sibling has recently passed, military families where PTSD can be successfully treated by a change of scenery and, of course, unpaid carers who are often caring for a loved one and sacrifice their own financial well-being to do so. Please consider giving families the opportunity to have a respite break and contact charities in your region. After serving as the United Kingdom's Secretary of State for Defence, I founded Give Us Time in 2012 with a mission to give military families precious time together. Idyllic charity holidays were one of the first to provide free accommodation at the resorts and in 2016 they expanded the offer to families with children with terminal illnesses, bereaved families and unpaid carers. These holidays are more than just allowing a family some time to be together. For some beneficiaries they have actually been a lifeline and I know that some people who have made use of this scheme have credited it with saving their life from getting them to step back from the edge and the suicidal thoughts that they were having. They are literally life-changing for those military heroes and their families. Kind Holidays was created to give the most challenged of families free holiday accommodation at their hotels and resorts. Giving these families, many of whom include a sick or terminally ill child, the chance to create their most cherished of memories. For many, it will be the last opportunity to enjoy truly happy times before their loved one passes on. Pre-pandemic, over a thousand charity holiday guests enjoyed precious time at an idyllic resort and in return touched the hearts of so many of their staff. The thing that makes this all worthwhile, the thing that I'll never get tired of, is seeing the looks on these children's faces. Honestly, I don't think we could have managed it uh, without this kind of initiative. Uh, it's, it's an amazing opportunity. It, it helps us perhaps just reflect on what is positive about uh, our lives, uh, rather than sometimes we, we're sort of focused on uh, the next appointment or the things that some of the more chal challenging aspects of our lives so uh, it, it's an amazing initiative. It was a dream come true not just for my brother who had a fantastic time but also for my entire family it was it was a life-changing moment. The townhouses really are a home from home and I don't think I don't really think any of us can believe our luck to be staying in such luxurious accommodation as well as giving the families beautiful townhouses and a really sort of peaceful environment to come back to after the craziness of uh, days out, whether that's in Florida or elsewhere. Um, that also, um, it saves the charity money, which means we can do more dreams. It's the first time we've yeah. actually been able to put um, Wilson's cystic fibrosis to the back of your head. Yeah. Um, so because we're all together and we're actually enjoying ourselves Mama! they're having fun and they're sort of laughing Mama! and it sort of makes you almost forget it just for a short time. Yeah. Um, yeah, it feels like a massive relief, definitely. Fantastic holiday. Just we're so proud of what was given. And we love loving every minute of it, we don't want to go back to England.
it's I enjoyed it so much. It's I just don't want it to end. Just a break from the daily stress of fear. Even you know for a week, it's great. Maze is loving loving being here, aren't ya? Oh, she she's, she she has learned to swim now. She's she's not really interested in swimming while we're here. She just wants to splash me. And then when they are poorly and they're very ill, they have to have two weeks stay in hospital on IVs. So obviously, getting that time off work if they're ill a few times a year, you can't work. So I've tried going back to work, but it's too many days off off work so I can't. <laughs> They're allowed to have a break and just enjoy a bit of family life. And um, obviously in being abroad, that they can um, enjoy the sun and the sea and the sand and without having to worry about treatment. So it was nice to spend that family time with them without having to worry about doing the nebulizers, the physios, the medication, all of that stuff. There's a proven link between taking a break and well-being, not only for those with CF, but also their families and carers. It's been amazing, hasn't it? It's given us a really good opportunity to get some nice sunshine and yeah. some nice relaxing family time together. Because yeah. obviously that's it's it's tricky to get us all together and having some just chill out time and family time, isn't it? Because yeah. Catherine obviously gets a lot of um, time where she's just waiting around in the hospital for for Elliot to have his treatments and. Things yeah. like that, don't you? And it yeah, does have an impact on the whole family, so mm -hmm. to get all together and just have a nice relaxing time. She has around 32 to 42 tablets per day. Um, and it, it can be, you know, full on with, with the meds, but we don't know any different now. Um, but it's, you know, wherever we go, we still got to continue with the treatment. But as I said, being here and beautiful views and and that has just made a massive difference. Um, it's been such a beautiful break. We, the only time we really pack a suitcase is when we're going into hospital. Well, we're a family again, and we get now to spend time as a family doing something we didn't think we'd be able to do, ever. And it's just seeing a smile on these two faces, that's what does it for me. The kids have absolutely loved it, and we really appreciate it. Yeah, we? we've had the best holiday ever, haven't we? Yes, definitely. Um, no, it's been really, really good. We've been treated like royalty. Um, it has been amazing. Rico has a condition um, that's very rare of the blood called mycosis fungoides. And Phoenix, very sadly, has a rather more serious condition called infantile neuroaxonal dystrophy. Um, so he's lost all of his skills. If you take him to the waves and he's asleep, he just wakes up. It's got this profound effect on him. It's, it's really nice and then he'll fall asleep. And it's, it's really nice. We really don't want to go home. I think the result itself is a pretty unique concept and I really love it. I, I would be very happy to stay here for a long, long, long time. Maybe forever. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I think, I think the, the family vibe as well, the staff that have been here for years and you can really feel the love. So that's been really nice to be part of because we don't have that back home. It's just the three of us and to feel part of something and to feel that we've got every element we need, that we actually really need. The sun, the, the, the climate, the breeze, the water, the birds, everything. We've got everything we need right here. It's kind of perfect. It sounds just idyllic. And <laughs> you said you would love to be able to stay there for a bit longer. Um, you know, when you were there, you touched so many people and they would like to offer you and the boys another chance to stay at the resort in 2020. So hopefully you can find some time to have another holiday. Really? How does that sound? Is that a yes? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, that'd be really great. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, baby? We can go back. 
The pandemic struck in 2020. Sarah and Rico were unable to have that second holiday in Spain with Phoenix. They were, however, able to spend time in a beautiful resort in the Cotswolds, surrounded by lakes, six months before Phoenix sadly passed away at the age of 10. So we've ended up sitting here by the lake, which is really beautiful. I don't know if you can see the lake in the background. We had a walk earlier and um, um, we love you guys so much. And um, it's really nice of you to um, think of us to come away for a little bit. And it means such a lot. The short time that Sarah and Rico had with Phoenix was precious and some of their happiest moments were spent at an idyllic resort. Sarah and Rico are returning to Spain in June when they plan to scatter Phoenix's ashes in the sea just metres from the beach in front of the resort. The place where they created their most cherished memories, watching the sunrise together. And it is just a really wonderful experience to be part of. It's a privilege, actually. It's a privilege. The sales edit. The opportunity, yeah, to forget about the hospital appointments. It's like that, that's right, and the care, and you know, knowing that when they were here, they were in a, a, a safe environment as well. Yeah. So that you know, almost um, the medical conditions, etc., they were still there, but the the focus on that melted away. If you had a message for some of the bigger players in our industry and what it could do for them as as a as a group the effect it has on, on their team members. Um, what would you say to them? Why should they do this? My message would be, do it in a heartbeat. Don't hesitate. The experience that you're giving those families is it's one small week here and there. Yes, it accumulates over a, bit, a period of time, but a week at one of your resorts means a lifetime of memories for that family. That would be my message to you. For me, and it, it makes me feel so proud to be part of this. Because, uh, as I said, for me, business is business, but having a share and help is more important. And when this company look after this kind of, uh, these people, it makes me feel that I am in the right place. Helping these incredibly grateful and courageous families has had the most rewarding and profound effect on the entire idyllic team. Very few hotels operate year-round at 100% occupancy. Hoteliers, for the cost of cleaning a room or suite, you too can give the most deserving of families a chance to make their everlasting memories. In 2012, the former army medic, who went on to become the UK's defence minister, Dr Liam Fox, established Give Us Time. Idyllic hotels and resorts were one of the first donors, giving time at their properties to military personnel and their families. Many of these personnel are suffering with physical injuries and PTSD. These holidays have repaired broken families and stopped a hero from taking his own life. I was discharged from the army in November 2004. Since then, there has been setbacks with periods of self-harm and multiple attempts to take my own life. Again, trying to, to make the images disappear. It took another nine years, and in 2013, I finally got the diagnosis of PTSD, post-traumatic stress. And due to the years of neglect and hardship on my body, also major depressive disorder. Now knowing that it wasn't just me, but an illness causing these thoughts and actions, there was still a life for living and to become a better husband my wife could be proud of. Give us time was my hand up. We got a lovely email confirming that Joanne and I can apply for a holiday. Gave us time, give Joanne and I the ability to adapt to our new normal. A life of compromises and plans to act as a safety net if we fell backwards. All in a relaxed, peaceful and scenic place. This was also our chance to reconnect with our loved ones and to look forward for our new future on our road to recovery. If I can empower businesses and holiday owners to donate to give us time, you're not just providing a vital holiday to a military family. You're not giving us a handout. You're giving us a hand up. And that's priceless. Thank you.